Today we're going to do a video reaction to Phantom of the Opera, the song. So let's hop into it. Okay. <laughs> I know I shouldn't be laughing, but <laughs> boy, that, that guy uh, in the audience, he picked the wrong seat and the wrong person to give a kiss to because <laughs> the Phantom is pissed. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue. Uh, 
Okay. Um, I know it's not a laughable, but it's funny though. Excuse me, got something in my eye. Um, yeah, that that's funny. Only because I know it's make believe. It's fantasy. It's not reality. Obviously, in real life, that would be very wrong. But you know, you gotta have a sense of humor. Uh, the song. I know she's the original singer of the of from the Phantom of the Opera play. The guy that plays the Phantom, I don't know who he is, and I don't think he's the original. Matter of fact, I know he's not the original. When I say original, I mean the original Broadway uh, cast. I think the guy that originally did it was uh, Michael Crawford or, or some something like that. Why he didn't do this, I do not know. Um, I did see the play years ago in uh, Norfolk, Virginia, and neither her or basically it was not the original cast because this was like years after this play has started, but um. If anyone ever gets a chance, you should go see it. It is amazing. And amazing. The movie that they did of Family Opera does not do it justice. At least in my humble opinion, when I went to see the play, which is funny because I would never in my life ever thought I would go see a play. But like I had discussed in my previous video, or one of my previous videos, as life goes on, you you expand, you experience new things, and that's a good thing. And uh, I got a chance to go to the Family Opera, and uh, I was very, uh, very much impressed with it, how they did things, considering it was a play. It, like, a, there's a part in the play where you're in the audience and you hear the phantom like behind you or you look up and you actually see him and then like um, like a few seconds later he's right there on stage it's like how in the heck did they do that it's very impressive um, and how I got introduced to family opera was in high school. My senior year, I joined chorus, I guess is what it's called. And uh, that's how I got introduced to family opera. And uh, I'm glad I did join chorus because one, I was you know, I was a teenager and I was surrounded by a lot of girls and <laughs> that's a thumbs up. And uh, I also got it, like I said, I got introduced into some different music and I read the words to the songs and I was very impressed. Uh, but the song... Um, also, the recording of this is different from the original. It didn't have electric guitar, or at least not like this version had. But I do like this version. I really do like it. And uh, what do you guys uh, think? What knowledge do you have about this video or people that are involved in the video that I do not know about? Please leave a comment below. Uh, like, for example, when did this come out? I can tell by the hairstyle that it came out in um, 
uh, somewhere in the 80s. I know it because I had that hairstyle. <laughs> yes, believe it or not, people, I used to actually have hair. Um, yeah. So let me know. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. You guys take care of yourself. Stay safe. Bye. Phantom of the Opera is now. Mm-hmm.